Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you on Tuesdays, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Today, we are continuing on with our series, All Things DDA. So if you haven't tuned in to the first couple of episodes, you're going to want to go back and watch those. Lots of great information. But back joining me again today is Molly Lalone, Executive Director of the Lake Orion DDA. Hi, Hello, Molly. Hello, Tracy. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. And so today, the thing, what I wanted to talk about in this episode is, I know you mentioned in the last episode there were some accreditations that our DDA has that help bring in some extra funding. Um, so like a, a DDA doesn't have to have these accreditations. A DDA can exist and not have these, but... Lake Orion sees the value in having these accreditations because not only does it bring in the um, additional services and funding, but it brings us to kind of like the next level, right? Like yes. of DDA, of community. Yeah. And um, so that program is called the Main Street. Main Street. And yes. this is a, it's a national program. Okay. I mean, we are part of a national movement in um, the United States uh, yeah. to look at more than one thing when we're talking about um, how we take care of our downtowns. Okay. Um, and I'll just quickly go over those things. I want yeah. you to know, everybody, that um, in order to be accredited, a community has to go through a process every single year. We yeah. have to prove ourselves every year. Yeah. And anytime we drop the ball, we're not accredited. But Lake Orion has not ever dropped the ball. We have been accredited Yay. since 2006. And the idea of Main Street is, um, is that the people who live here are the ones who can make it better. Mm -hmm. And um, they've got some guidelines because you can't just do one thing. You have to do many things. Right, right. Um, and one of them is, uh, do we have the community's support on the projects that we're doing? Okay. Do we include lots of people in our in our uh, work? Are we right. asking for public participation? Are we including business owners and residents in our process? Um which, uh, which you know, definitely, we definitely have that in Lake Orion. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Um, are we being responsible with our funding? Okay. Are we making sure that everything we do is going towards the same goal? And yep. we have to prove that every single year. Right. Each project, each event, everything, mm -hmm. everything needs to go towards a common goal. Yes, yeah. uh, which is economic which, development and economic vitality in this area. Are yeah. we continuing to keep our community strong? Yeah. Um, and we have, um, oops, I missed a few here. There's also, are we honoring, um, are we honoring our history? Mm -hmm. That's, uh, you know, it's preservation based economic development. Yep. Um, we can't pay, we can't knock it all down. We have to honor what we have and right. what our history is. And then are we tracking that those results are we keeping that data so that we um 10 years back we can go back and say oh my gosh it used yeah. to be <laughs> that half of this town was empty right and now it's full yeah we need to be able to show um that we are making a difference and we need to know um and all of that information that we collect it helps us understand why something worked or it didn't work yeah no that's great and and that's a lot. That's a lot uh, to do. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't even cover this in the last episode, but I don't know if most people know, but you are the only full time employee of the DDA. So, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. so really the bulk of all of this, while there's, a, you know, a couple of part time people that can help, like, you know, answering phones and, and, you know, coordinating some of the events and things, you know, all of this reporting, making sure that the DDA can remain accredited with Main Street. There's Main Street, Oakland County, but then there's also, like you said, Main Street at the state level and nationally. Mm -hmm. And so not only is it making sure that everything that's done, you know, checks all of those boxes, yes. but then it's also doing all of the reporting and administrative yes. and like, and all yeah. of that to be able to show that as well. So yes. Um, I think anybody who, you know, especially our business owners and anybody who works, um, you know, in, in different fields, you know how much like the tracking and the reporting mm -hmm. and like that is, you know, that's a lot as well. So, you know, mm -hmm. we, we appreciate all that you do because yeah. I know you put oh, in you. a lot of time. Oh, thank <laughs> so. you. And it, you know, um, having a main street program, it does, um, it puts more eyes on our community, which is yeah. great. And, um, we get a national perspective about how 
Little Lake Orion is doing. Yeah. We get a statewide perspective of how we're doing, and we get a countywide perspective in addition to our local perspective. Yeah. And that's important to have that many eyes on yes. our community and to and and for people to be able to say, "Hey, if you did this one thing a little bit different, I bet things would would um, change." Um, and I appreciate yeah. that. Every single year, we are given a roadmap of what our successes, uh, according to uh, someone else's perspective, okay. what our successes have been, and what are things that they think would be great things for us to try. That is so and great. It, I mean, because we can all all use like continuous improvement, right? That's a, that a buzzword. You yeah. know, and just finding yeah. new ways that we can improve. And mm-hmm. yeah, I think seeing and understanding what's happening in different parts of the country as well. And yes. maybe, you know, one part of the country has tried something and it worked great Mm -hmm. and others have said ah you know like Mm -hmm. and just being able to share and have those synergies is fantastic yes so so now you're saying okay so there are all these standards that you have to meet to be to have this accreditation to be part Mm -hmm. of the main street program Mm -hmm. but the benefit to that not only being able to share all this information and have the synergies and and have like you said other eyes other professionals and experts be able to give us advice and guidance but there's also additional funds that come into our budget as well right you know it's actually it's around eighty thousand dollars annually in in products and services and grants that we get um just because we're a main street organization and it also benefits other ways um the hometown grant that um, the Parks and Rec Department got for the Greens Park Playground. Yeah. They couldn't have applied for that if we weren't a Main Street community. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we had a business owner who um, was awarded, a, uh, what was it called? It was a hometown grant for businesses. It was the yeah. heart the heart of Main Street okay. grant, $25,000 that that business was able to be awarded. And they were only able to apply for that because of wow. us being a Main Street community. So there's yeah. many benefits that um, we don't even realize that. You know, there are yeah. opportunities. Well, that you come realize, up. Yes. <laughs> but, but, but those of us out there may not realize, and most mm-hmm. of us, I think, don't realize. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm sure many people, unless you've been close to, and that's why I wanted to, to talk about this today, because unless you've been close to the DDA, like very close, mm-hmm. you would never know that this program existed. Or right. what it is or what it entails. Mm-hmm. So it's, um, yeah, that we appreciate that you're you're doing these things to keep our DDA at this elevated level <laughs> and uh, bringing, you know, not only the, the funds, but all of the, the extra benefits that come with it. Mm-hmm. So, And Tracy, we talked about responsiveness at a, in a previous episode. Yeah. Um, this is another thing with um, Oakland County watching over us, their Main Street coordinating program, watching over Oakland County's downtowns, we were able to get um, scout or grants during the pandemic for our businesses because they were um, in our downtown, because we were part of the Main Street program. We were able to get um, PPE, personal protection equipment, yeah. for all of our businesses. And that was coordinated through Oakland County for our Main Street programs. And, um, and then in the state, we were able to get there were some um, businesses who weren't able to get the funding the first round. Yeah. So I applied to the state to ask for funding to make sure everybody got the funding that I could get them. Yeah. And um, and it was all Main Street stuff. That's so that's great. Oh, that's great. So so Main Street. Main Street is an important program. It's an accreditation that RDDA has that um, that we're proud of. And um, so we thank you for for keeping that up for our DDA. And um, well, we still have another episode coming up in the series. So if you want to hear what is coming up for the DDA, what projects, what events, what is new and up and coming, you are definitely going to want to tune in for this episode. So and then if you've missed any of the previous episodes, um, be sure to go back and check them out. Lots of great information. We want to make sure you understand the DDA and how fantastic this is either how i think it's so fantastic for our community so thank you molly for being with us thank you so thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you next time on tea with tracy